Hello, hello, hello. Welcome once again to Nurse Life Television Channel, TV channel. All right, I hope you all are doing well. I'm also doing awesome. So I'm at work. I'm trying to make this series of videos talking about LPN BSN programs, LPN RN programs, the schools that I have been in touch with, I have personally been in touch with and have details of how things work. So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so. And thank you so much for doing so. Uh, do me a favor and share. Share it on school platforms, on other nursing platforms. People are looking for these informations. People are searching. Other LPNs and CNAs are searching for ways to do online nursing program. So I think this will go a long way to help. So share it with a friend and tell them to keep sharing. Let's build this platform together, this community together. On this platform, I talk everything NCLEX exam, which I'm fixing to do a video on one of the resources that people don't know about much. So let's finish up with the online schools and then we'll get more into NCLEX videos and then investment videos as well for nurses, home-based businesses for nurses, okay? All right, so in this video, I'm going more in depth about Wilson College in Pennsylvania. Wilson College, okay? So they have LPN BSN program. So I will link, when you look at the video description, you are gonna see some links that I'll put on there for you. So you see, you click on it and it takes you to the website and you can make your nursing inquiry request from there. So on this page, it talks about English, social studies, maths, which is which is which include algebra, two unit science, which so either biology, biology with lab or chemistry with lab. I think they will take either one of them. One thing I I did love about this college when I applied in twenty twenty one was that they accept either T's or HESI. So either one of these, they will accept ACT, SAT, T's, and HESI scores too, they will take. I think it has to be about between two to two years, you know, if you've taken it between that time, they will accept your score for it. And you have to have 65. Other schools have 80, 85, 70, 75. This is the, I think, the lowest I've seen so far. And I'm thinking Chamberlain also is about the same figure, 65%, you have to make in order to get a chance to be in this school. So register for the T's if you haven't paid for it and sit for that T's exam if you haven't done so already. So for the prerequisites, English social studies, algebra, whatever. So let me click on this one here, the course requirements. So the degree requirements for the BSN is what is listed here. Okay, so if you are coming from another school, another nursing school, they do accept some, they will give you credit for some of them, but it's up to them, their own uh, discretion, what they will take and what they will not accept. Uh, one thing about them is that they didn't want to accept the the courses that I did through straighterline.com. Straighterline is a platform where you can get college courses done very cheap and very fast. And they are credit, um, they are in partnership with a lot of colleges across the states of America. But Wilson is not one of them, so they didn't want to, they didn't acknowledge it. 
So they wanted me to take Spanish class and one other thing, which really put me off about them. I didn't want to repeat a course that I've already completed. They didn't want to accept the ACE credit that straight line uh, give you. You know, you get ACE credit, A-C-E credit for the courses that you take, which most, uh, most universities and colleges accept ACE credits. But these people didn't want to accept. Anyways, that's one of the cons I didn't like about them. But they are really, really amazing. Now, I'm going to take you into my email and read some details that Pamela... Pamela, I think, is a program coordinator or something of that sort. Send me so that you know in details what this... Um, so this is the email she sent me when I made inquiries. This is the email, Pamela Batch. Pamela Hollenbach, mm -hmm, that's her name. So she she emailed me back. He says she's the coordinator for the LP and BSN program and they do accept transfer students from other schools and they accept out of state so it doesn't matter the state that you are in they accept they said the shortest amount of time that you can finish the program is two and a half years regardless of whatever clinical courses you have completed at other programs and she's saying that because of the structure so it goes summer fall spring summer fall spring like that you say the LPN BSN student must complete six sequential clinical courses during the program. So you could, you may have finished some classes. So whether you have a class in that time frame or not, you still cannot, they will not let you, like you, you can't finish it any faster because it's a rigid set of um, program. I don't know how to make you understand, but when you call them, she will explain further for you. He said, if you are out of state, he said, out of state student must come to campus for seven to 10 day residency for the last three semesters. So if I take 20, if you start with them this year, so let's say you started in summer, summer is May. So summer, fall, and then the following year, 2024, spring, that would be like the first year. And then it started again, summer, fall, spring. Then you finish the following year, which is 2025, spring, you, you graduate. So the last part of the spring, you go for seven to 10 days. You go to Philadelphia. They have a campus there. So they give you accommodation there for the seven to 10 days. And then they have hospitals in that city where the school is that they have affiliation with you know, and then you, they will be, all your clinicals will be done within that set of days. Honestly, leaving my home for seven to 10 days, I didn't, I thought it like, it's not going to really help, you know? So that is the re only reason I didn't continue with them. I, they had given me admission, everything was set in motion, but when they will give you a video call and then explain everything to you again, tell you the classes they accepted, the ones you have to still take with them and how you have to come there and everything. So you need a GP of 3.0. Okay, it's preferable, but it doesn't mean that if you don't have a 3.0, they will not accept you and they need a tease. So HESI or tease, they will accept. Yes. So that is the explanation she gave me. Her name is Pamela. So I will leave her email in the description um, with the, her number as well so that you can contact her or email her for further details if you are interested. So with this kind of program, um, with this kind of program, you as a working mother, you have to structure yourself and you, you need to have a support system, someone who is willing to take care of your kids for those 10 days that you are away. If you have that, I think you'll be okay with Wilson College. And if you look at this one, you see the accreditation. 
And one thing I said in all my other videos is that accreditation is very important. You have to make sure it's originally accredited or nationally, nationally accredited school and program. Their programs are nationally or regionally accredited because it will not augur well for you if you don't go to a school that was accredited. Hospitals wouldn't want to work with you. No place, no reputable place won't work with, you know, someone who graduated from a school which is not accredited, period. So um, I hope this is um, very informative for you. If you have any questions, you can look in the video description, contact the, um, the details that I put there, contact them, call the numbers and everything, and talk to someone or email them and get further details and explanation of their current, you know, info. But as of the time that I, I, I you know, I made an attempt to uh, attend this school, this was the information that was at hand. And I haven't seen anything different from what they told me when I went to their website. Okay, so I'm thinking nothing has changed yet. But I could be wrong. Just email them, call them, you know, make your own inquiries, get your support system, you know, ready and everything and go for it. I wish you all the best and all the success. If you are still contemplating between all the schools that um, I've seen so far. Let's share, 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 share it on all the platforms. Somebody needs this information so they can make the right decision and get into an online school, which might be the only choice they have. All right. Okay. So let's share, let's subscribe, let's comment. I love you guys.